Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of the Atletico Madrid Football Manager Series. And I have gone through a couple of days in the simulation, and we actually drew Cart Cartagna in the next stage of the Copa del Rey. But in today's episode, we focus on playing Mallorca, Villarreal, which is a six-point game, massive game for us. Then we have got the game in the Copa del Rey, and Cadiz again, and maybe if we get time, Real Sociedad as well. And we are getting to the business end of the season now. We have actually played quite a few games. I did also have another look at the free agents. Unfortunately, we can't bring anyone else in, because obviously we did use a lot of money to bring in Rudiger and Dybala, but still... Great signings, with just with them alone. Fantastic signings. Um, we're gonna have a little look at this. It's mainly the staff I like to bring in. We, we do need, we, you know, there's no harm bringing in new staff. We've got a budget for it, so why not, right? Bring them in. But we, this game here, we have to win because oh, it's another injury at the back. When you know, and Soho as well. Not too bad. And we we'll use a doctor. But these games in the league, we have to be winning. Now, luckily, we've got Villarreal at home as well. That would be a player and a half, but we're not going to be able to afford him. Um, we'll be, I also dealt out quite a lot of contracts to youth players as well, when just not on record, because I feel like it was, it's quite a boring thing to do, not for the first team. But there's still more people. Lodi as well. I mean, there's no point extending the injury. And Lorente. I don't know what's going on in training, but this is going to be a makeshift team now, I think. Um, let me just talk with Rojas. Um, he's not great, is he? Minimum fee release clause. That's fine. We'll keep him here at the club because at the end of the day, with the injuries we're getting, you can't even guarantee it. Like, we're getting injury after injury. Um, let's have a little look, though, what team we can put out here because we have got to take into account we've got to play Villarreal f two days, three days after. Felix is definitely starting, not a question. That back line's still very good, to be honest with you. Um, and that midfield's looking nice as well. We're going to play Hector Herrera in there as well. Koke can continue. Good team. We've got a lot of knocks though. Got a lot of even on the bench. We've got a lot of knocks, but we're gonna we're gonna keep with that. Um, and hopefully, we can see us get three points in this game because in going into Villarreal, if we beat them as well, hopefully we can. I don't know where we are on the table actually. I'll look when we get into this game, when we can work out exactly what it would mean to us. So Real Madrid are up there now. Villarreal are still. Yeah, we need to get some points on Villarreal because they are. They are playing very good football, so it seems. Well, knowing them, it's probably not good football. It's probably last-minute winners, but wins a win, right? <clears throat> so the first 30 minutes of this game, not a whole lot going on, really. They've had the only shot on target, as they have now actually got a highlight, unless we can intercept it, which we do. Griezmann down the left-hand side, looking to cut in. He does, and that should be 1-0. He looked very level to me. Good decision. To be fair, the officials haven't actually been too bad in this league. There's only been a couple which I would argue with, but that goal is massive. Right before, well, not right before half time, but goal before half time, one nil up. You know, a team who we're playing like this look quite resilient. Their formation looks quite resilient as well. I mean, they've got the four at the back, the one DM, the four across the midfield. Like you know, it's quite a defensive formation, and Griezmann. Good effort, good effort from him. Come on, boys. If we can get a second here, what? It's unlucky, it's unlucky. Just want to change my formation. There we go. Right. Who's tired? Herrera looking like he could do with a little rest. Gotta be careful with that. We're going to bring on DePaul. Great ball. Zhao Felix. It's going to be difficult, but I need to keep him here at the club. It's going to be such a difficult task but I'm going to try and do it we're going to take off some players now just so they can have a little bit of a rest before the next game um, but they're going to have to play either way because I need my best players available against Villarreal we're going to praise them because they have been playing well but no it's going to be he's just come on as well great goal um, 
it's going to be difficult to keep Felix here because unless we win the league, I mean, his, if anyone in the Spanish league that wins, like if Real Madrid come in for him or anything like that, Man City, which they have, I'm surprised he didn't like cause up a, cause a fuss, but he didn't. But I'd say that's a pretty comfortable win. We deserve to win it. Um, 3-0 win at home. Obviously, the team we played aren't the best opposition, but we've stripped up enough times to small opposition. So no game is... I say it all the time, but no game, although I say it's easy, no game is easy in this division. Guardiola spotted as well. Let me guess, that's to do with Joe Felix. Probably. We have actually got a little bit more of a rest than what I thought. I thought it was actually going to be pretty much bang on. They've actually said second. I think they've got a game to play, though, haven't they? Look how close that is, though. This is crazy. I mean, there's four teams that can easily win this. It's just absolutely nuts. These are just a couple um, staff members that I brought in. I will assign them scout um, like mission or ta missions tasks, but I've seen their four transfers, and that worries me. Oh, okay. Are they loans? Are they? Can I can I have a look at them? He can go to any of them, just, just to get a bit of game time. A bit of game time is good for him. Atletico Madrid will be... Yeah, I do. I want my players. Don't know if it'll be accepted. It has. See, that's a bit of um big team favourism, that is, that we can actually request to cancel the game just because we haven't got players, but it's only fair. But this game here is... This is like, this is just as big as the final, to be honest with you. I mean, Jesus. <coughs> we could also do a thump on them here just to set, you know, really knock their confidence a bit because Villarreal, you never would think they'd be up here, but they're obviously playing well consistently. they done us at the end of the day. Right, we're going to have a little look at the team. Felix is 100% starting. Right, what are they playing? Okay. Pretty much, they are literally matching us up. Of course they are. Um, we'll keep it like that. Felix, can dog be in? No, where's Montoya? Can he play? He can. Lodi. Um, we're going to keep Hermoso there, actually. So we're going to play Oblak, Montoya, Jimenez, Hermoso, Lodi, Lorente, Coke, Paul, Correa, Griezmann, and Zhao Felix. Seems like a cracking team to me. Um, Villarreal don't really have necessarily world-class players either. They just know how to irritate a team and they can do it well. They do have... I'm going to butcher his name. Oh, oh, no. See, that was already an alarm bell ringing. They're not actually playing him. But they have that guy that scored against Bayern. I forgot his name now. I forgot his name. Um, they've got one attacker who's very dangerous who got the winner against Bayern in real life. Um, so hopefully they don't bring him on. But to be honest, even a a win here would be massive. A point would be all right, but it's still, it's not really enough. But it's been quite quiet, and this is exactly what it was like in the first game he played. A loadie with the ball here. A little bit of progress up the pitch. Griezmann's really not cut on it this season. He, he's obviously, I know he's called that wonder goal, but consistently he's not doing it. But it's just too good to leave out. Like stats wise, it's very difficult to leave him out um, just because of the, you know, he has got it. And Koke, obviously, you know, a contender for the team of the year. He's come in and, well, rocketed that in the top right corner right before half time. And now Villarreal's entire second half plan is going to change. Maybe they can't be as defensive as what they wanted to be. All because of a moment of magic from Koke. And this now, if we can hold this out, would bump us up into second place. Obviously, Villarreal can match us, but we've got the better goal difference. Um, and then we're going to be a point behind Real Madrid, but this game is far from done. Villarreal are not a team that gives up. It was not allowed, not allowed in their culture. And they're through here. It's a chance, it's a great save from All Black. And I am going to make a sub after this. Right. 
Okay, it's highlight after highlight. I'm going to introduce a lot of time wasting, and we're going to have a little look here because they are all over us. Let's have a little look. We're going to bring on some subs. So we're going to bring on. We're going to bring on Condobia. We are going to bring on. It's midfield. I think we need to focus on. We're going to bring on Hector Herrera as well because he can. He, you know, he can strengthen that up a little bit. And we're going to keep it like that for now. Um, Coco is going to stay on. Maybe Griezmann can come off as well. Actually, we'll wait a minute though. It's nice. Hit it. Penalty. Um, I'm going to bring on Lamar as well. This is just a massive, massive five more minutes of this game. If we can seal this out, the season looks so much different. And we have the tables have been reversed. Only a 1-0 win, but it's exactly what they've done to us. And it all come from one moment of magic from Koke. Fantastic goal. And now, I mean, we can say we're in the title race. I don't like using them words because I shouldn't be able to do it with the players I've got. But obviously... The tactics have been going in my favour. It's clearly worked. Um, for me, I don't actually know how Real Madrid, usually in the first season, Barcelona and Real Madrid are the two-horse race going for it. But we've changed that this season. And so have Villarreal. They've also put a bit of a you know, spanner in the works there. So, you know, it's quite good to see because usually the Spanish league is a two-horse race. Um, but no, it's good. It's very good. Morata's showing his quality. Unfortunately, he's not really my type of player, so he he won't be playing for us, even if he comes... Well, he will come back. He won't be playing for us because he doesn't fit into my system. Um, but I will make sure he goes somewhere he likes, or he could stay there if he wishes to. So we're not going to... We've got no money to bring anyone else in at all. Killian? Killian. Why not? I'm surprised he actually even let me speak to him. This is the bit which will make you faint. Get ready for this. It's impossible to make that happen. That's, this is what I could offer him. That's what I could offer him. Max. He's not going to like it. I tell you what. On the off chance. They give it to me. I'm going to do it. But. He wouldn't come here anyway, because unlike FIFA, football manager's realistic. If I offer him a pre-contract and Real Madrid offer him, Man City offer him, Liverpool, big, big, big clubs, you know, he's, he's going to go with them. We're going to discuss this with him because I feel like we've done good this season. So I'm going to have a little, you know, little discuss it. No, I'm not very happy with this. Um, oh, they seem stingy. Yeah, they're, they're stingy. They're very stingy. But, yeah, like I was saying, unlike FIFA on this game, if, I don't know, if they get a better offer from a club that's winning, they'll go there, whereas FIFA, you can pretty much sign who you want, when you want, which is one of the reasons I don't like it, to be honest, as much as this now. So this is obviously the next stage in the Copa del Rey. We're going to play rotation again, because, you know, it's a team we should be beating. I'm not... Why are they like that? We'll just do that. Um, Felix, why is he on there? Um, we'll give Griezmann a game up top. Suarez is on, is that international? On international. So I've lost a few people with international anyway. Um, we will play, can we play Savage there and then Jose Carlos, can he come in for a game? I've not actually played him before. I can't say I know anything about him. I'm not going to claim that I do. But I don't know if we can. We can. Well, there you go. That's a brand new player getting some game time then against a team which I can't say I've heard of, I'm going to be honest. No disrespect to anyone who does support them. But um, hopefully we can come out and get through this stage of the tournament and see where it takes us. They're going to have the first highlight and it's a little wake-up call for us. I don't know what formation they're playing. The four Every time, the 4-2-3-1. It must be reliable because... 
I just, I mean, I like it, but it's just everyone plays a 4-2-3-1. It's so basic and, you know, I played saves all the time. It's just a bit boring now. It's good to switch it up, you know, have your own style. And Carrasco down the side. Kuna, ball in. Griezmann, Carrasco, he's onside. No arguments there. 1-0, 25 minutes in. They've got a chance here as well. It's 1-1. One, one. It's all tied up. And to be honest, I don't think we'd actually concede against this team. But, I mean, our back line is weakened, but it's still a good, it's still a back, good back line, a good keeper. Um, and now things are going to get interesting because I don't know if this goes to penalties right away. And they've actually got another chance. And this game's not been a one-horse race at all. I mean, it's been going back and forth, back and forth, over and over. So I might... I'm not going to bring on any first-team subs just yet, but I will if I have to, because I don't want to risk going to extra time or penalties. I don't know how this works. Because <clears throat> they're actually they're dominating the highlights a bit, but we've got a chance here, and we're through. Oh, we've missed it. Right. Subs are going to come on now. We are going to bring on... What we're going to do is we're actually going to do this. We're going to put Griezmann on the right. Actually, we'll do that. Griezmann prefers the left, doesn't he? Um, Koke looks quite tired. We're going to bring on Lorente. And we're going to leave it like that. And obviously now we have got, you know, a couple of big boys on as well. Koke was getting tired. Felix is on the pitch. Anything can happen when he's on the pitch. A bit more expressive for him as well. And off the whole team. And hopefully we can get a, a late minute winner just to avoid the extra time. It's not great. I'm hoping it's one of them red injuries that isn't a red injury, if that makes sense. So it's like one which is like three or four days or something. Um, if it's one which is months, that's not going to be good. Although we have got wingers that can play in this position, but it's not nice to see. And this could actually be going to extra time. Or was it, it a replay this early on? Extra time. It's the one outcome I didn't want. Anyway, you can't complain. The end of the day... Okay, that's a fantastic start. Hermoso, that's a fantastic start to extra time. And we're going to put a bit of time wasting in. Um, <clears throat> just because we, you know, although it's a small team, it's business. You know, you got to win. Um, I don't know if we can make another sub, can we? Have I even got a midfielder in there? We are actually missing quite a lot of players to that international duty. So, oh, we're already into the second half. I wonder why we wouldn't make any change. We're going to keep it going, but... Can I take off Savage? Because he looks like he's literally on the edge of death. I can. Saito and Kondogbia are there as well, but it's only three more minutes. And there we go. So, it was a lot closer than what it actually should have been. But, we were missing a lot of players. I also decided to play weaker players. And I don't regret it. And that's not horrific. I mean, it's, it could max a month. Um, sometimes you see red injuries and they're like three to four months. But, that's not actually too bad. So overall, we've come out of that game pretty much with all positives. Um, bar the sides that it was way too close for my liking. But that is what it is. And we can now, we've got a bit of a gap. We've got 10 days, so I will simulate until that date and cut it back. But we are now so many games without a loss. And our next game is against Real Sociedad. But I think we'll play this one. No, we can't play that before, can we? We'll find out. I'll come back to you with the next game when it's confirmed. So we actually drew Las Palmas, um, I believe. No, did we drew Las Palmas? Let me double check that. Yes, Las Palmas, who we take on in the Copa del Rey next up. Um, I declined the deadline day, but we have had an offer come in for Lamar, who we're not going to be selling. Um, we are also not going to bring anyone else in because we haven't got the funds to do so. But what's this one? We're going to let him go because he's been kicking up a lot of fuss and he's got I've got no plans to use him. This game here, Las Palmas, I am going to play rotation again because it is the cup and we have got an important league game literally three days apart. Um, but I've got to be careful because obviously last game, it was actually quite close. What is this? A loan offer. They've actually got a bottle to even submit that. No chance Lodi is going anywhere. Nowhere. <coughs> But we'll get into this. This bit's like this bit's always annoying because you get so many like offers from players. You've already said you don't want to. There's no changes because we, unfortunately, obviously we um, Zybala and Rudiger aren't coming in just yet. They'll be with us next season, so 
hopefully, if we don't manage to win everything this season, which I don't think we will, um, they could be the team, you know, or they could be the players to help strengthen the team. But who is that for Savage? What is it with loans? We're not loaning anyone. We, we need the players. Philippe, is that another loan offer? Everyone wants to look. We're not loaning anyone. Everyone wants to loan the players. Why would I loan them mid like? We're just going to decline that because these huge players are getting way too gassed up now. Way too gassed up for my liking. Last Palmer's at home. Now, how much rotation do I want to play? Do I want to go full rotation? What's this for? Okay. Our squad registrations are always quite straightforward, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty obvious the people we can't use and the people that we do use are pretty much already registered anyway. But we have to make sure because sometimes things do change, don't they? Um, but this is going to be, hopefully, a comfortable game. We are going to play rotation. I don't know why I even selected that. We might go with slight, actually. Oh, I've not even changed it, really. Um, go full rotation. Call cool, that definitely is full rotation. Obviously, Suarez is absolutely shattered. Carrasco, Lamar, Koke, Soto, Savage, Montoya. We're going to go with that, actually. Because, um, again, we've got people on the bench if, if we need them. And what? why not? I mean... We've been blessed to get these sort of draws, so we may as well make the most of it and rotate when we can. And then when it comes to the league, we can carry on playing, well, our full strength team and hopefully actually get somewhere in that. I thought they were going to go one the lot then right off the bat. Carrasco down this right hand side. It's a ball in. This is good. Nice and calm here. We can get an early goal. Completely changes the tie, but the one thing we don't want, I feel like in this competition, when you're playing slightly less opposition, if they get a goal, they'll then literally put everything on the line. And I've just seen an opportunity just to play with a bit more width, which, you know, is a weakness in the five of the back formations because, you know, or just narrow formations in general, because as soon as someone spots it, you can pretty much counter it. Um, there's very few format, unless you like, unless you purposely, he should, I mean, hang on, let's look at that. Unless you tell like your centimeters to push out and cover the wings, it's very easy to counter. So we'll see if it works or not. At the moment, we've definitely got the upper hand. But that's quite a negative formation from them. But obviously I understand they are coming to play against quite a, you know, slightly more of a, a lot more advanced team. So they are going to be a bit more cautious. And they're very vulnerable on the counter, I think. We just, you know, if we had Felix on the pitch now, it'd probably probably already be a goal up that we haven't, so that's just what it is. It's the issue when you're in so many competitions. It's never easy and nearly went 1-0 down then. Exactly what I don't want to do because if that happened in like the 70th minute, you're looking at a, well, a shock exit, which is not what we want at all because we're on a very good run at the moment. A very good run. Just got to be careful. We don't want any clumsy bookings either if we can prevent them. Great ball. Kuna. I'm really not liking it. I'm taking him off at half-time. It's a personal agenda. I don't... Oh, personally, I don't like him. He never plays well for me. He's coming off. He's coming off. I'm going to get Jao Felix on. He'll get the job done. <coughs> He's by far the player, by far the most um, trusted on the player in Jao Felix. I mean, he saved me so many times. It's ridiculous. And that was nearly a great, well, it was a good strike, but nearly a great goal. Just unfortunately missed a little bit there. They unfortunately picked up a red injury I didn't even see, which is not good for a side like these. And we're playing the ball about very calm here. A bit too calm for my liking, but it's working. I mean, it's flawless, apart from Lodi. Lodi's been a bit iffy, you know. I can't sell him because he is our best left back. But he, he has got, a, he has got a, you know, a little error in him now and then, which I don't like. Um... We are going to... We'll let this highlight play out. Joe Felix, come on. I trust you in them situations. Huh? Right, we are going to make... My mouse is... There we go. Mouse is being a bit weird then. We're going to bring on... Correa. Because Griezmann's still tired somehow. 
I'm going to get Correa on, fresh setter, you know, legs on the wing. And are we about to see two extra time games? I hope not. I'm going to tell him to be a bit more expressive. All this extra time is not good for us. Okay, okay, right. We're going to get our, peep, our players are so tired. So tired. Right. Just all about getting energy into the pitch now because we've got people that are playing like three games a week or some crap. I mean, it's difficult to balance it all out. Hopefully we can get a late, nice little late winner. Bit over hit there. Um, and if this goes to extra time, it might not. <clears throat> it's what I said right at the start. You do not want that to happen because you're now minutes away from going out to Las Palmas at home and there's no excuse even with the players that I'm playing should be more capable than winning this game there's there's no excuse for it um I don't think we can make any more subs anyway we can I'm going to I'm literally going to bring on as many people as I can um and just I mean just just try and go for it We've got a highlight right off the rip. The pull ball in, no one in there. We've got to win this back quick. And if we get a goal, we've got to do it quick because they're going to run this clock down as much as they can. We have to win everything in the air. Xiao Felix has done it. 1-1, one, one, 89 minutes. Now we just got a bit of composure here because we've gone all out for this. So we just want to be a bit sensible. We're going to be expressive. I do need to change it very attacking back to positive. And we seem to calm down a little bit. Luckily, I mean, that is a hit. That is just one last roll of the dice and it's paid off. But it's going to go to extra time. And we're really playing with fire here in these competitions. I'm not pleased with what I've seen from the team. We've been bailed out again by Felix in a not with a 90th minute goal. And we, even though I'm playing slightly weaker, I mean, this team isn't even that weak. Um, we're really not taking this competition seriously enough. And I don't know why, because I want to I want to win everything. I want to win as much as I can. I'm going to encourage him. If not, we're going to have a penalty shootout on our hands, and penalty shootout is in God's hands. You, you can't control it. Go either way. We've got a highlight right towards the end. A bit more drama. It's more drama. Antoine Griezmann, 116th minute. He obviously come on. I brought him on, and he should have done the job and this is a last minute counter attack and it's in again 3-1 well that is not a 3-1 game it's a great turnaround but it's goals in the 117th and the 120th minute to win us the game and although we're getting through these competitions you know these stages we can't keep on winning like this it, it doesn't it doesn't carry on um i mean this this series has been crazy for results like that. It really has. There's been last minute equalizers, last minute goals have conceded, but the run we're going on at the moment is crazy. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games, nine wins, one draw. And to be honest, I'm looking at teams that I'm not confident. Man City will be a tough game. Do I think we can beat him? Yes. I think we can beat him. Are we going to? It all depends because we've got, we've got errors in us. We do concede the odd goal here and there. And it's all right doing that against the teams we've been playing. But Man City, you can't you can't have errors against them. But that is going to be all, of, all for today's episode, guys. Next episode, we will take on Real Sociedad, Cadiz, whoever we get in the Copa del Rey. Real Hispalis and possibly Man City if we have time in the episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like on the video, drop a comment of what you think and what do you think to that at the end of that game. That was some game. Do hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.